Hi everyone! Today's video, I will be sharing about my experience in filing ROC or the removal of condition. Just a disclaimer, I am not an expert. I will just be sharing about my experience. So, for latest update, always check the USCIS website just to make sure that you are not filing form that is expired or you are not sending fees that is incorrect. So always make sure to check the USCIS website for the latest update. So my two years conditional residency expires on February of 2020. So 90 days before the expiration, I received a mail from the USCIS reminding me that I need to file my I-751 or the removal of condition. So on the start of the 90 days before the expiration, I sent my ROC application and they received it on December 4 of 2019. So after they received my application on December 4 of 2019, two days after, on December 6 of 2019, I received another mail from the USCIS and in this mail, it stated that my conditional resident status is extended for 18 months from the expiration date on your form I-551 or the permanent resident card. So in this letter, they are simply telling me that my resident status, my two years resident status is extended for 18 months. On January 3 of 2020, I received another mail from the USC CIS and this time they're asking me that I need to come in person so they can take my biometrics. So the time, date, and address are listed in the letter that they sent me so i went to the schedule for my biometrics and after the biometrics appointment i never heard anything about my case the whole time of 2020 so come like january until early dates of july still no update so i'm i'm already worrying because my extension letter is about to expire on August of 2021. So I checked the I checked the USCIS website about the processing time for this kind of uh, this kind of application and I saw there that the uh, the processing times are from 19 months to 22 months. So in my case, I'm still within the processing times, but I feel like it's been a long time. It's almost over a year. I never heard any status. So I'm, I, I'm already thinking of like calling the USCIS just to get some feedback about it. And then I went to the, to the website and there's, there's a part in the website that says related tools and under related tools, there's a portion that says submit a case inquiry so i i just want to try it just just ch checking if they will get back to me so i fill up all the part that i need to fill up providing them with the the important details of my application and then fortunately after i submitted that inquiry i received an automatic mail that they will get back to me two to three weeks. Okay, at least I know that somebody will get back to me two to three weeks. But yeah, fortunately, after I, after a day, I check again the USCIS tracker about my case and bingo, there's an update about my case. And the, the status was changed to a new card is is being processed something like that so it's a, it's it's a it's a great update something that i'm i'm really looking forward to so i'm all, i'm i'm really happy about it so from that status it changed to we approve your application for i751 and we will send you a a mail and then and then after two days after that status changed I received a letter through bail and informing me in the letter informing me that they approved my application for my for my I-751 and 
they will send me my card soon so i think two to three days i received my 10 years 10 years green card so here it is i'm i'm really happy about it i i already feel good that my application didn't went through rfe the request for additional evidence or interview so i i already feel good about it but it's just a lot a long time to wait but i know different cases is not the same each case is unique so my case is different from yours maybe yours will be more like shorter processing time others have longer processing time so it all depends i cannot really say that all cases are the same so yeah but i will still share to you the requirements that i submitted when i filed my my application the requirements that I submitted along with my I-751 application are the following. I also include a cover letter so that it will be easier for the person who will be processing my application to immediately see what are included in the packet that I sent them. So these are the requirements that I submitted. Application fee including biometric fee of $680. I get a... A money order for this amount through the USPS but if you are filing yourself please make sure that you know the latest fees through the USCIS website original form of I-751 which I filled up and signed by me and my husband again please make sure that you are sending a correct form or the form that you filled up is not expired because there are people that I know that their application was returned to them because simply because they overlook that the application form that they filled up are expired so please make sure about it then enlarge copy of your green card of your two years green card back and forth then the certified marriage certificate between you and your husband between me and my husband showing the date of our marriage and the place where we got married then two original affidavit attesting to the bona fide nature of our marriage. So in our case, we asked our two good friends who knows us well since we started and to, to write an affidavit about uh, attesting the, that our marriage is in good faith. So, and it's up to you if you want to notarize it or not, but in my case, I did not notarize it. Then copies of our joint U.S. tax return for 2017 and 2018. Copies of our credit card showing our joint account. Copies of monthly bank statement of our joint checking and savings account. Copies of our health insurance showing a joint policy. And then copies of our lease of agreements listing us as a joint tenants at our old address and new address. Then copies of hospital bill statement and report of laboratory test. So in my case, we, I went through miscarriage before. So I feel like the these documents will have a strong bearing to support the, uh, yeah, a strong evidence to support our marriage. That's why I included it. Then pictures of our relationship, some took with friends and families from 2017 to present. So... I just get like, I just include maybe like three to four pictures. So I did not like su su submit like a lot of pictures. So yeah, that just few pictures. And then, yeah, that's about it. That's all the requirements that I submitted. And yeah, if there's something, some requirements here that I did not mention, but you feel like it's going to be a strong evidence to support your marriage, then include it in your application. Again, I'm just so thankful that I did not like, they did not request for additional evidence in my case, or they did not ask me to for, for interview because it's just a lot of hassle to <laughs> went to another interview. I'm two hours away to the nearest USCIS field office so I have to yeah you have to really prepare a lot 
when you if you're going to go through another interview but i'm just glad that i didn't went through another interview or the request for additional evidence because they are they are already satisfied with the initial requirements that i submitted when i file my my re removal of condition application so that's all that's that's about it that's all my experience and filing the I-751. If you have questions, please let me know through the comment section and I will be glad to answer it all with my knowledge through my experience. And yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Bye.